<laughs> if you can host the Olympics, we better host the Olympics. You want us to host the Olympics, you will never forget them. <laughs> First of all, we are the warmest country in the world. We would be welcoming you guys, we'll be dancing for you guys, we'll be kneeling down, greeting you guys as you arrive. Well, even when you're going back, we would um, give you names, we'd push you to the airport. You would enjoy these games. First of all, we have perfect weather. I mean, our weather is very great, actually, and we have it under control. Like, it will only rain when you want. The other good thing about us hosting, uh, this will be the first games where no athlete disappears. Yeah, you, you count on everyone going back home after the games. And I, I'll be happy for Sachito Oleko because uh, he will have a chance to finally be at the Olympics again because they will be happening here. What's the worst that can happen? And we have a lot of food, but the standout would be that the world is going to experience our Rolex. Yeah, <laughs> but with like a million guests in the country, uh, our hands will have to pull up their socks. Those amazing brands, Jakuva, Zimukoza, Morocco, boom. And of course, it's clear we can't host it alone, so we would need a neighbor to come on board. All our neighbors would be trying to fix our differences so that we can choose them. Yeah, uh, Tanzania would be telling Diamond to get back with Zari. Kenya would be like, you guys, you, you're amazed though. <sighs> Spicy, it's so flavorful. It's as if bacon. Your maize is a whole meal. It is the food, the sauce, and something to drink. Your maize is the trinity. Then Rwanda would open the border. They would have to, unless they want to run on Zoom. But Kagame is a hard guy. He might headline and be like, hey, our water botanist team shall take part on teams. The games would have one change, though, because we have had so many races in the past where our athletes have come fourth. Yeah, the podium would have fourth position. Our country, our rules. And we are, we are peaceful people. The only crime you should expect is fake tickets. Uh, NASA would be so busy. As prison would even get full. The government will get to a point, they just decide on express punishments. They find you with a fake ticket. This will be a perfect time for us to show off our wildlife. And actually, when you win a gold medal, we also give you a, a silver back to take home. Yeah, because we know none of you has. And when you break a record, we had a cow. We would have like herbalists outside the stadium setting one hub that cures all diseases. Shall be bringing services closer to the people. And if you make someone here fall for you and you think you're going to go back to your country and ghost them, you're joking. We have people here that bring back lost lovers. Uh, then in nine months after the games, the population of our country would shoot up. I, I won't explain that further. I'm glad you've also not put a photo. Uh, when it comes to water sport, uh, water sport, okay, rowing, canoeing, sailing, those would be fine. But surfing, surfing, okay, sometimes we have waves. You'll figure out who has won. Judge's decision is fine. Then there's games we would come to watch just because you don't want to stay home. Uh, things like fencing, we'll be there watching like... No idea who's winning. W wondering who supplied the swords. W when it comes to the category of extreme sports where we rarely take part, we would ask for local additions because we have so much extreme sports here. We have a lot, I mean, they can give us one where the participants, um, each of them lends a Ugandan money, then demands it. The first one to get paid back wins gold. The only problem with that sport is it might drag on the games for like two more years. Maybe they will get another one where they, they tell the participants, each of them to, to give our carpenters work. Yeah, the first one to get a finished product wins gold. That one would be so extreme, it would be very hard for them to even get a winner. Our carpenters are tired, even if you come yelling, today I'm going to kill you, oh wow! My video is not your platform to vent.